started, we're going to start uh, lying down on your back, feet hip width apart, knees up towards the ceiling. Start to pull your belly button in towards the spine, lift the muscles of the pelvic floor. So scooping and hollowing, pulling the belly button in, but you're still able to breathe, so you're not holding your breath. You're just scooping. So imagine doing up a tight pair of jeans. That's kind of the sensation, but also just relaxing that breath. I'm not going to add the Pilates breathing in, but I just want you to breathe. Breathe normal, breathe easy, and always focus on engaging but first before you make a movement. So arms down by your side, relax the upper body. We are going to start nice and simple, bringing the leg up to a 90 degree position, and then placing the foot down. So here I want you to focus on literally just moving the leg. And I know that sounds really weird, but just check that you're not tilting through the pelvis to lift the leg. And it can just be a slight movement and you, you'll find that sometimes you're moving that pelvis. So we wanna keep everything neutral, pull the belly button in, lift the muscles of the pelvic floor, and literally again, moving the leg within that hip joint to come up to that 90 degree position. Now if you want to, we're keeping control throughout our Pilates session today. So you're gonna do opposite arm to leg. So the arm is gonna pause above the shoulder, the knee is gonna pause above the hip, should be able to rest a tray onto your shoe, then releasing down. So go slower if you really need to think about what arm and leg you're moving especially this time in the morning. So hopefully we'll wake up the mind and the body with control. So Pilates is all about the control, the placement of the movement and the alignment. So you want to focus on that and really focus on, rather than just moving the arm and leg, focus on where you're placing the arm and the leg and where you're pausing and your technique. So your hard option, we're coming up up, again opposite arm to leg, down, down. So you're using your core, scoop through the tummy muscles. If this is too much, you can go back to singles. And again, down. So you may need to pause a moment at the top there, just to kind of remember which arm and leg you're doing. Pull the belly button in, lift the muscles off the pelvic floor, create that strong foundation. Hardest option, Scoop, making sure again you're not rocking through the pelvis. It's those legs that are lifting. The lower abdominals are doing a lot of work here. So tap your toes, then place your heels down. Pull the belly button in, lift the heels. Smooth transition up to that dead bug, and then releasing down. Three levels here, your first level here. And again, you may be getting bored of this one, but we're staying with this one for a few more reps. I want you to try and focus on that control. You should feel it if you're controlling and you're placing those movements, placing the arms and the legs. You should feel the core activating to do the work and keep the control. Imagine you've got a tennis ball between your knees. Let's do one more. Scoop the tummy muscles. Now let's hold this dead bug position. So if you were doing singles, Bring yourself to this position, and if you need to have your hands down by your side for a little bit more support, then feel free to. From here, opposite arm to leg, extend, bring it back in, extend. Now again, our main aim really isn't the arm and the leg that's moving, but the arm and the leg that are staying above the shoulder and above the hips. So the legs that you're not moving, the arm that you're not moving, they're gonna stay really still in that position. Now make sure your back isn't arching here. So there's always a tendency to kind of arch the back, maybe kind of taking the leg too low. So I had to really use momentum to bring myself up there. So when you're extending, feel free to extend the leg higher up towards the ceiling. And if you're taking that leg low, it comes all from that core rather than arching through the back. And you may feel those hips working as well. Keep this going, hard option, both the arms, both the legs. Extend, coming back to that neutral position. Now again, you can extend higher up towards the ceiling, but if you can, if you're here, then there's no point. So go back to singles, 
but if you can take it a little bit lower and then bring yourself back to that neutral position, then go for that harder option. Make sure again your back isn't arching or lifting off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's hug the knees, let's stretch those arms and legs. Whichever feels good to have a breather and have a rest. Gradually bring yourself up and around onto all fours, taking your time as you do so. We're still activating in the core in exactly the same way. So still pulling in, lifting up, scooping through the core muscles. Bring yourself round so your knees are below your hips and your hands are below the shoulders. We're going to do pretty much what we've done the other way on our back, but in our all four position. So you're going to glide the opposite arm and leg out from underneath you and stretch into a superman. Gradually bring yourself back down. Again, imagine you've got two tennis balls between the knees. You don't want your knees coming in together, keep a neutral base. Glide opposite arm and leg, think about the stretch and the reach first, and then gradually bring yourself back in. So if you feel like you're shifting, then I want you to take the arm out and focus on the leg going back behind you. I want you to always focus on the length first. So anything, any movement that you're using the arms and legs for in Pilates, imagine somebody's gently pulling on your big toe, gently pulling on your fingertips. The more you find that stretch and that length, the more natural the lift will be, the more the right muscles you'll be activating. So you're going to, again, scoop through the tummy muscles, stretch out and away, reach through the fingertips, reach through the toes. Even if you're taking out that lift, simply reaching out and away from the body, you should feel the core working, you should feel everything activating. And that lift is just a small thing that you add on the end. So try not to go out to a lift and then back in. Stretch out, reach out and then release. Now on your next one, let's see if we can hold the position. Reach, lengthen, extend. Hold. Now that nice long line from your fingertips through to your toes. If you're wobbling, bring the hand down, focus on the leg going back behind you. Or widen your base position with those knees. Pull the belly button in. Five, four, three, two, one. This is really going to help out if you want to build up to doing some nice um, planks. So again, adjust your position, two tennis balls between the knees, opposite arm to leg, lengthen, reach and extend and again hold. So you may find that one side feels more challenging than the other. So you might find that you're wobbling more on one side. So again, actively pull the belly button in, lift the muscles of the pelvic floor, breathe, create that strong foundation. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. So let's just finish off today's session with your plank, because why not? So you can be on your hands, on your elbows, just above the knee joint, um, or to your feet. So let's set up. From your all four position, again, either here or here, you can step back into a full plank position. Gently place the knees down just above the knee joint if you're doing your three quarter plank. And again, you can be on your elbows if you want to. What I see a lot of is if you come to your plank from this position, if you're doing that three quarter position, what a lot of people do is just lift the feet up off the floor and think they're in that three quarter position. So if you can, go through it from your full plank position, gently place the knees down just above the knee joint, tuck under, scoop through the tummy muscles, keep the core engaged, keep breathing, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place the knees down, sit back onto the heels, roll out the wrists if you've been on your hands, stretch them out if you want to, 